I wonder what kind of guy Zidane is going to be on that bench. Is he going to sit down like a Louis Van Hall with the, the notebook right there on his knees right. and nice and straight? Or is he Maybe animated? Once in a while, what does he do? Sip of water. Is he going to be? Is the tie going to be loose? I think he'll be zen. Do you? Yeah, I think he'll be zen until it's time not to be zen. And then when it snaps, it's going to be glorious. <laughs> well, we have historical proof that. I don't know what you're talking about. (laughs) Is there a less secure job out there than being the manager for Real Madrid? (laughs) Right? But I don't want I don't want longevity. I don't want consistency from a manager at Real Madrid. That's what they do. They're fantastic. They provide so many talking points. Rafa out. Now it's Zidane right. in. It's and awesome. Zidane saying, all right, all right, Hamas Rodriguez, you're gonna maybe be my out guy right now. And Ronaldo's happy. Is he getting enough productivity? They're wonderful theater yeah. right now. We've seen so many ex-players who think, uh, I can be a manager, I can do this. He's put in his time. He's worked sorry. his way up. He didn't just say, here's my application, and I'm going to be first team manager without any managerial experience. You know, we see a lot of these guys that the players no longer know who that guy was. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, what? You used to play? I had no idea. But Zidane, I still feel, carries that clout. I mean, this is one of the greatest players of all time. I love when these types of players put themselves into unfamiliar positions and put themselves at risk in terms of their legacy and and how people view them. So this is gonna be fascinating to see, especially because what you said at Real Madrid, they don't suffer fools, they don't care who you are. If you're not doing it, even if you are doing it, they still might get rid of you. That's the revolving door that is Real Madrid.